Good morning. How are you? This is Marianne Grant, Life in Harmony podcast. Today is the first day of your life. It's important. What are you going to do with it? Remember, I said to you, we're going to talk about getting your head right before you start your day. And if there's anything that you left behind yesterday, any residue, anything you need to clean up, any fights you had, if you put out some nastiness, I suggest you clean it up today. Uh, let go of your pride and ego and get a little humbled and do what you need to do to have a great day. Remember, this is a program of not blaming anybody for what is happening in your life. You got to look in the mirror, own your own part. Remember, you it takes two to go to war. And I'm going to go over everything that controls us and then focus on one subject. Sarcasm. Sarcasm is anger. <clears throat> Emotions. Bad attitude. Enabling. People pleasing. Not able to say no. Drugs. Alcohol. Pills. Relationships. Sex. Lust. Love. Anger. Rage. Porn. Controlling everyone around you but yourself. Distractions everywhere. Then you do nothing but have excuses. Gambling, work, working out, food addiction, binge TV, phone, podcast, news, caffeine, surgeries, pain, in a relationship with a man or a woman, and mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally abusing one another. Or you may want to add to the list. Okay, um, I'm going to talk about distractions and excuses um it's very hard you get up in the morning it's important that you take that extra half hour or hour for yourself so you could start your day right it truly is uh night and day when you prepare your day the night before of how you want to see your day and the distractions and excuses can happen all day long. We're always going to have distractions. We're always going to have excuses. But you really need to say to yourself, how important is this to me? Um, it could be about your health. It could be something you need to let go of. It could be a relationship. It could be your work. It could be your job. But here's the thing. If you're not mentally, physically, spiritually right in your head, all those things that you think you hate or want to quit or get out of a relationship, you have to get yourself right first before you make these decisions. That's why they say, if you're going to make a major move, wait a year, get yourself right, and then make that decision, because you end up repeating the same mistakes over and over again with a different job, with a different person, or with a different career, and you did not clean up what you needed to clean up within yourself. And what I've learned in my own life, my own recovery, in my own relationship is the better I am, nobody can infect me with anything. So if I'm in a great way, my husband, no matter what he says, oh, I just walk out of the room if he gives me a one-liner snippet and he gets it. Or um, people that I love that are close to me, I'll just say, I'll talk to you tomorrow. You no longer are infected by their sick stuff or their negativity or their bullshit. And there's a lot of power in that. And it's the same with jobs. Remember, there's a lot of mundane tasks and things that we don't want to do with our jobs that no matter what job it is, we're going to have to do. It's our attitude and what we bring to the table. Last night, I was with my grandson all day yesterday. I was tired. I had to get my podcast in. I had to get out um, uh, 25 calls to people. That's part of my program. Things that I don't want to do uh, to put my podcast out there. And I felt so good after I did it and accepting the things that we don't want to do to have a successful day. We have bad moments, but we don't have a bad whole day. Um, I had a great day all day. It was just that last hour I was just so tired, but there were things that needed to be done because I like running my own business. I like running my own show. And there's a certain amount of work during the day that needs to be done, again, about that balance and not too much play and not too much work. And that's what I did yesterday. And the other thing, I'm not abusing myself with food to wear me out, to make me tired. I'm not abusing myself with anything. So my health is in tip-top shape. And that plays a big role in our decisions and what we're going to do. You need to look at your health. If you make your health the most important thing, Everything else.
else falls into place with the proper energy of writing the book, changing the job, getting a new partner, whatever it may be. But again, you need to be a 10 before you make that move. One is the worst, 10 is the highest. And then once you feel like you are a 10, then make the decision, then make the move. But again, make yourself the priority. What are the things you need to work on yourself to be a 10? And then make that major move. All right. Balance, not too much of anything. Our kids, our partner, our play. When we stay balanced, it's life in harmony. When we abuse ourselves, everyone we love is infected by it. You cheat yourself and everybody around you. The level of love and respect you give yourself, that is the level of love and respect you get in return. The goal for all of us is life in harmony. Our thinking can make or break us. That is why we have to check our thinking and attitude all day long until it's as natural as going to the bathroom or else you get backed up. This, my friend, is the greatest gift you can give yourself. Remember, behind every breakthrough, there's a breakdown, breakthrough around the corner. People say, I want to help be a part of taking care of the world. Here's the good news. You only have to take care of yourself. Truly, it's uh, take care of yourself all day and be a living example. That is taking care of the world. We all have gifts. We all have work to do. That is the true meaning of taking care of the world. Doing your part, no exceptions. All of your answers lie within you. Your words mean, mean nothing, you smooth talkers. Your actions say everything. I'm going to read a beautiful saying from Michael Singer. Spirituality. Spirituality begins when you decide you will never stop trying. Spirituality is the commitment to go beyond no matter what it takes. It's an infinite journey based upon going beyond yourself every minute of every day for the rest of your life. If you're truly going beyond, you're always at your limits. You're never back in the comfort zone. A spiritual being feels as though they're always against the edge and they're constantly being pushed through it. One should view their spiritual work as learning to live life without stress, problems, fear, or melodrama. This path of using life to evolve, spirituality is truly the highest path. Trust the process. Eventually, you will realize that you, it cannot actually hurt you to go beyond your psychological limits. If you're willing to just stand on the edge and keep walking, you will go beyond. You used to pull back when it got uncomfortable. It's okay to get uncomfortable. Now you relax and go past that point. That is all it takes to go beyond. Go beyond wherever you were a minute ago by handling what's happening to you now. Imagine the, imagine the peace that you could experience if you weren't constantly creating and defending your false self. Right about that. The spiritual journey is one of constant transformation. To grow, you must give up the struggle to remain the same and learn to embrace change. You must go through the darkest night in order to get to the infinite light. What we really call darkness is really the blockage of light. That beautiful message is from Michael Singer. I absolutely love that. And he's the one that helped me truly continuously break through the wall. The other thing he helped me with was we're all imperfect, perfect human beings. We're never, ever, we're always going to disappoint our partners. We're going to disappoint people around us. But the most important thing is, is we continue to be true to ourselves. In this way, it's a win-win for everybody. Because in reality, we cannot make anybody happy but ourselves. I learned that when I went away. And it's probably the greatest gift that I received when I uh, went into rehab years ago is you cannot love anybody to wellness. And there's a lot of power in that. And if it makes you focus on what you can do, and there's no more blaming. There's a price for freedom. There's a price to be responsible for oneself. All right, I'm going to read a little part of my book, page 36. My growth gives me the ability to enjoy simple things. Some of the greatest joys are getting quiet, putting fresh flowers all around the house, lighting candles, keeping peace in our home, watching my husband interact with the children, our dogs, watching my husband do work around the house and cook fabulous meals as happiness. The love he gives me shines when I visit 
my ex-brother-in-law, who is mentally and physically handicapped. Simply to share stories and enjoy his company brings much serenity. He brings a great deal of love into our home. A simple trip to movies or lunch with my great friends and mentors brings pleasure. I love taking a bath while thinking of how lucky I am and how great my day was. I rarely have bad days anymore. My staying centered and vigilant of distractions. I have very few setbacks. I love the relationship I have created with my mom and my dad. Those great gifts I received daily when they were living, I worked hard to achieve. I had a goal to live life in harmony. I was willing to do whatever it took to get there. One of the most powerful gifts in my recovery was providing free service in the prisons and rehab facilities when my husband was away. It took me out of myself, and I realized how blessed I was to be able to let these people inside of me and to see the beauty inside of them. I had no judgment of their past. I always listened with empathy to their challenges and pain, and I gave them hugs and kisses. My heart would sing inside, and it would give me the energy and the strength to go on for one more day. I would focus just on one day at a time. Eventually, everything in my life had fallen into place in, un in the universe's time, not mine. This de uh, a reading on destiny from William Jennings Bryan. Destiny is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. It is not a thing to be waited on. It is a thing to be achieved. Well, <clears throat> I absolutely love this. Um, I always wanted to sell recovery and um, uh, extraordinary life. I always wanted to sell it like GQ, like everything has to be sexy. Well, I find it very sexy to take charge of your life and to not allow anybody to manipulate you and to enjoy the simple things in life and to just be happy with the day. And remember, if you take care of today, tomorrow will take care of itself. And to go through the day and not be a people pleaser, able to say no, it was really cute. I was at the restaurant uh, yesterday with my grandson and um, I was ordering my dessert. And if anybody knows who I am, I'm a big piggy when it comes to food and when I want my treat. And yesterday, um, I the, the waiter said, um, would you like to wait for that dessert? And I said, no. And my Jojo laughed so hard. It was like, no is a complete sentence. I want that dessert right now. He just got the biggest kick out of that. And being direct and not caring what people think. And I was um, just so pleased to be able to enjoy my day with him. We went to the movies. We went to see Godzilla. And I really didn't get to celebrate Easter because I was uh, working and celebrating uh, my last day uh, speaking in recovery. And I decided to celebrate my whole day with him uh, the following day. That is the beautiful thing, um, sharing time with your grandchildren and being with your kids and planning that in your day. I have a schedule that I do every month. And then um, I put in the people I love in my schedule, and that's very important to me. And if you don't do that, before you know it, time is up. The people you love are gone because we're only here for today. We're, we're not promised tomorrow. And with that, I'm going to read off the checkoff list. Okay, remember I said when you work on one thing, eventually it will be a way of life. Don't do too much of anything. Balance is most important. I am clean and clear of all diseases and negative thoughts, what's controlling you. I accept today where I am powerless, I have control, where I have choices. I will reach out for help and use my tools today. I accept today and understand <clears throat> the only person I can change or regulate is myself. I will take time to hug and kiss my loved ones around me. I will show my partner how much he or she is appreciated, needed, and loved. I will speak up for myself today. I will be true to ourselves. The answers lie in each and every one of us. We need to be a priority to ourselves. The rest will fall into place. Everything we do is a practice and a discipline to master what we want. I will take charge of my life today and realize I am in charge of all my decisions. I will know when it's time to bow out and let go and trust the process. I will set realistic goals for myself. I will get seven to eight hours of sleep tonight. I will set healthy boundaries around myself today. I will not allow anybody to speak to me with disrespect. I will make a conscious effort to eat healthy meals. I will take my vitamins, food supplements today. I will drink six to eight glasses of water today. I will be good to myself today. Whoever can see through all fear will always be safe. Remember, 
when someone's lashing out at you or acting like a fool, it's always something they are fearing and they're taking it out on you. I will talk with someone I trust and respect and be honest with them. Accountability is key. Cannot do it alone. And by the way, we're really good at lying to ourselves. I will trust and reach out to my higher power today. I will say thank you for everything that happens to me, good or bad. I will not do anything to cause harm to myself or others today. I am willing to change today. I will exercise today. I will pray for the well-being of myself and others today. I will write a list of all the things I want in a partner. If I become it, I will attract it. Discipline is freedom. Do two things a day I don't want to do. To have a successful day. Trust the process. Those two things for me are always getting up early and working out. And the other thing that I added to my list was keeping my food clean. And yesterday was a miracle. I went to the movies with my grandson didn't eat any of the garbage. I had my meal before and waited to have my lunch. And I'm telling you, it just feels so fabulous when you take charge of your health, your happiness, and not make excuses. All right. Remember, we can all heal together one day at a time. It is a decision from our head to our heart. It's the greatest gift you can give yourself. If you want to reach me at createyourspirit at gmail.com, Leave your phone number if you want to order books, you want to do the workshops, you could call me, I can go over it with you, I could sign books for you, they're great gifts. If you want to learn about my services, you can reach me on lifeandharmonyonline.com, learn about all my services. Remember, I'm going to be doing the podcast Monday through Friday, and um, hit subscribe. Please send the link to the people you know, because it's kind of hard to find it, because they don't know uh, what the book looks like. And remember, we can all heal together. Leave a phone number. If there's anything you need for me to discuss with you, I will be more than happy to do that. And remember, I want you to have a pleasant day. And thank you for listening.